Hello, fifth grade. As you know, I usually don't do make and take projects, which means we make it and take it on the same day. But to introduce to you uh, chalk pastels, um, I'm going to do just that. Um, we're gonna start with two sheets of uh, regular manila paper. Um, and we're gonna actually take one and hold it the uh, long ways, and we are going to rip it to make a landscape. We're going to rip one paper and it's going to create some different diagonals and whatever shape it ends up in is great. Um, you just kind of pull it in the direction you want it to go in. Um, actually rips really well and I've made like a little mountainscape. Now you can use that one or that one and if you do it really well and someone next to you is struggling, you can actually give them the other half. Um, we're going to make a layered mountainscape, uh, kind of like we're going to do with our, pro our actual city project, which we are going to be starting uh, next week. I just thought we'd have a fun week this week to um, start off and celebrate our chalk pastels. Um, and you can pick any color you want. The main thing that I need you to remember is to put them back in the box when you're not using them. Don't just lay them along the side of the table, because when you do that, uh, they just like to jump on the floor and make a big old mess. And you're going to step on it, ruin my chalk pastel. You're going to ruin your new shoes, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm doing next is I'm just laying it flat down. And I'm using it as a template, which means it is uh, a piece that is using, it's like a tracer, basically. I'm holding it down. I'm using my fingers to move across as I am tracing it. I'm going to go all the way across to the other side. And I am going on, notice I went on top of both the tracer and the edge. That is uh, the important thing. I'm putting my chalk pastel back because I'm not using it right now. And I'm taking a paper towel. Everybody will get their own paper towel. And I'm going to smudge it up. Just go straight up. And I'm leaving the paper towel down. Notice I did not take the template off. That's super important. If you take the template off, uh, it's not going to have the same effect. Wait till you see what it looks like when I take this off. It's super cool. Boom. Look at how cool that looks. You see that jaggedness? And it's super clean on the other side. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. And I'm going to slide it up just slightly. And I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to do the same thing with another color. Um, how about purple? And I'm going to take it and I'm going to go across the edges. And you can pick any, oh, I just did a little bit, sorry. Um, I'm going to go across the edges. And make sure you leave the template down. Don't take the template off until you're done what? Until you're done taking until you're done spreading it with your paper towel. Now you can use the same paper towel over and over again. It's not going to matter. And I'm just going to blend this straight up. It's going to kind of look like the northern lights or it's going to actually look like a, a faded uh, mountainscape as it goes back into space. We're making mountainscapes today, but when we actually do this project, we're going to do this like a cityscape. But I want you to see the effect that it's going to have. Look at how cool that looks. Oh man. And then I'm going to do it again. And I can pick another color. So whatever colors you want to pick, uh, maybe I'll pick a turquoise blue this time. And it doesn't matter what color scheme you pick, uh, you really can't go wrong. Um, uh, try to pick colors next to each other on the color wheel that will make for a nice analogous blending, kind of like how we learned about in uh, with our scream uh, picture when the analogous colors for the sky and everything else and you do want to kind of press hard you don't want to just do a nice light line and you do want to cover both all right and i'll do this last one and you can do as many as you want i'm doing three and that's it you can do as many as you have room for or can make room for and i want you to enjoy the process and have fun today it's friday well actually it's not friday for everybody but it's friday for some of us boom and there you go so you're going to be able to take this with you today. I'm not going to keep these. I'm not going to collect these. 
Um, so I want you to have fun and enjoy.